Hey, it's Greg. What's up? I wanted to just give a quick update on Moderna. They totally crushed first quarter earnings. Uh, they made $1.7 billion in sales. Uh, in terms of earnings, uh, they, they made uh, $2.84 a share. Consensus forecast was $2.39. So they beat expectations. And what did the stock do? It went down massively. Okay, a couple days ago it was like over 180. Uh, went down today, uh, intraday to like you know 147. Now, why did this happen? Well, our wonderful and incredible president and his wacky administration came out and said that it backed the World Health Organization proposal to waive. Uh, patent rights for the vaccine makers and that of course caused the stock stock to completely tank okay now if you've been watching this channel or if uh, you're new to the channel I recommended this stock uh, a while ago when it was trading around $1.31 uh, $1.32 a share uh, it went up tremendously. It was up 30% at one point in a uh, matter of, uh, of weeks. And um, this news tanked the stock. Uh, I wanted to come out and, and just uh, you know give an update on it. I think it's temporary. I looked into the issue of the uh, waiving of the patents and the intellectual uh, capital issue. Uh, this is something that uh, this Biden administration has come out with. It's another one of a, of a long string of horrible ideas uh, that he's come out with since he's been president. Um, when I looked into it, uh, there's a couple things that, that ring true here that caused me to uh, feel confident in continuing to own the stock. And in fact, this morning, when it went down to 147, I bought some more. So the first thing is that um, the, the way it works with the World Health Organization, with incidentally, the, you know, if you remember, the World Health Organization was the organization that colluded with China to cover up uh, the initial phases of the coronavirus um, pandemic and uh, basically allowed China to... Uh, uh, you know, allow it to uh, to spread to the rest of the world while they covered up what what happened in Wuhan. So uh, this organization is, you know, has a lot has a dubious past and uh, should not be trusted uh, to manage these types of things. But I digress. But basically, there has to be a unanimous consent of all the members of the World Health Organization. And Europe, ironically, you know, Europe is, a, is generally socialist, has socialist governments. Um, they've already come out and said that they, they're vehemently opposed to, uh, to waiving patents. Um, they, as you probably know, they have uh, a very deep and varied um, uh, pharmaceutical industry in Europe, uh, some very large companies or uh, European companies, and I'm sure they're they're all tremendously against this. Uh, the second part of it is that the idea, as with most ideas coming out of the Biden administration recently, just fundamentally makes no sense. Uh, Moderna has already uh, offered to um, license the technology to uh, developing nations. Um, India, South Africa, etc. All the the nations that are that are pushing this idea, um, and uh, <clears throat> uh, the the reason that enough virus, uh, sorry, vaccines are not getting out there is not because uh, you need to waive a patent in order for more to be created. Uh, it's basically a, a supply issue. Uh, the vir the uh, vaccines are being uh, produced. Uh, at maximum capacity. Uh, you can't just turn around one day and decide, even if you have the formula of how to make the vaccine, you can't just turn around one day and, and make a billion doses. Uh, there's a slow ramp up 
and everything right now is going at completely full capacity. So uh, that's not going to be happening anytime soon, even if they did pass this, which seems unlikely. It's not something that could be ramped up uh, rapidly. And by the time they ramp it up, it'll be two years and the pandemic will be gone anyway. So the, the basic and fundamental idea, as with most of Biden's ideas, uh, at its very basis, does not make any sense. OK. So as a result, I'm not too concerned about this. Um, I'm investing in Moderna as much for the pipeline as for the short term um, uh, vaccine, uh, you know, pandemic vaccine aspects of it, which will provide in the next couple of years uh, enormous sales. And by the way, Moderna is projecting over the next year or so a billion vaccines to be sold worldwide. Now that, that for a development stage company, that is insane. But as I said in my original video, which I will uh, post at the end here of this video, I said uh, in the original video that I am buying this company primarily for its pipeline. The near term uh, vaccines are great. And that really puts the company on the map in terms of revenues and profits. But their uh, cancer vaccine, which is a personalized cancer vaccine, which is customized to each individual patient and each individual uh, person's cancer cells, this, this customized vaccine uh, that they're working on, which works on messenger RNA, is absolutely incredible and will revolutionize uh, the treatment of cancer. And that uh, drug, along with uh, others that they have in their pipeline, is really why I'm, in, I'm investing in this company long term anyway. OK, so if you own the stock, don't lose heart. Uh, this is a bunch of noise. Um, it's it's uh, a bunch of socialist communists uh, trying to infringe upon uh, property and intellectual rights. Um, if they waive this patent, um, you know, China and Russia uh, will benefit from it. And uh, it's not going to make any difference in terms of getting vaccines uh, where they're needed to these developing countries, which again is something that is uh, catching headlines now, but it's not necessarily going to be something that is going to um, uh, be a long-term problem because I believe they will get the vaccines there um, as quickly as possible. And those uh, that pandemic in India and South Africa and other places uh, will, you know, fairly rapidly within the next few months uh, begin to recede. OK, so that's my short term, um, you know, update on Moderna. I am working right now on a detailed full length um, update where I'm going to go into more detail. So keep an eye out for that. That'll be coming in the next few days. And as I said, don't lose heart. Keep watching this channel for updates on all of the recommendations that I've made. And uh, please subscribe and like if you got value out of this. And I'd love you to be on board for future presentations, which will be coming your way very soon.